next speaker is actually uh, was selected uh, from the e from the e poster abstracts. Um, it's uh, Dr. Seung Seung Min Lee, right? Yes, that's correct. An associate professor at the University of Texas at Austin, and he will talk to us today about mis uh, mismatch recognition and the removal mechanism of tumor suppressor protein MB MBD4. Thank you. Um, uh, thank you for the uh, invitation from organizing committees. Um, so today I'm going to talk about mismatch recognition and glycosylase mechanism of tumor suppressor protein MBD4. Um, C2 uh, T transition uh, mutation represent the most frequent mutation in found in human cancer and other disease. For example, about 50% of somatic mutation of uh, tumor suppressor protein P3 in colon cancers are CTT mutation within uh, CPG site. Uh, CTT transition mutation is are mainly caused by spontaneous deamination of cytosine and 5-methyl cytosine, which occur about 100 and 500 uh, events per cell per day. Um, this deamination generates uracil and thymine opposite guanine. And this uh, mutagenic base pair are repaired by mismatch repair pathway, as well as um, DNA glycosylate, such as MBD4 or TDG. Of course, GT mismatch can occur through the replication error here. And also, uh, GT mismatch can occur through during uh, activity methylation. When GT mismatch there, uh, MBD4 or TDG can process these um, mismatches to generate a, a basic permitting site, opposite guanine, which is further processed by base exchange repair pathway. Metal species binding domain protein 4, MBD4, plays a key role in the suppression of CPG mutability and tumorigenesis in vivo. Uh, this enzyme contains N terminal methyl uh, CPG binding domain and C terminal glycosylase domain. Its substrates are, is, are, include uracil, thymine, 5 hydroxyl uracil opposite guanine within CPG sites. Um, this plays a role in active demethylation and inactivation of MD4 gene increases C to T transition mutation in B4. So our question was, um, how does MD4 recognize GT mismatches? The challenge here is that you need to deal with two normal bases, unlike uracil DNA glycosylase recognize uh, damaged the base like uracil. Um, here, MBD4 must uh, deal with two normal bases in DNA. And how does MBD4 cleave thymine opposite guanine but not thymine opposite adenine? So we are interested in understanding the, the mechanism of GT mismatch recognition and glycosylase mechanism. And, uh, and we use biochemical and structural tools, structural biology tool to uh, study this. GT mismatch recognized by MD4 is shown here. Uh, thymine is flipped out of the du uh, duplex and enter the active site, making a uh, sophisticated interaction with active site amino acid residues. And uh, this is stabilized by phosphate pinching, which is uh, conferred by arginine finger. Arginine finger also um, the recognized the estranged, the orphaned guanine making hydrogen bonding interaction. And there's uh, MBD4 utilize this catalytic aspartate residue to cleave uh, this carbon nitrogen, the glycosidic bond. Um, here's the structure, X-ray structure published by other group. Um, um, here's the, uh, the background carbon of amino acid residue uh, recognize this estranged guanine and this substrate thymine is involves in multiple hydrogen bonds. And there is aspartate residue, catalytic aspartate residue. In this structure, uh, we did not, they could not uh, observe water molecule, which is, uh, in many, which is observed in many uh, other DNA glycosylases. Also, they, uh, uh, they report on other structures um, shown here. There is a, 
uh, continued electron density between uh, AP site and catalytic carboxylate. So based on this observation, they proposed um, this the direct covalent uh, attack, the, the direct attack of aspartate on AP site to generate this covalent bond. The, the problem here was that uh, the, the, the resolution of the structure to point eight, with 2.8 ohms, ohms resolution is very difficult to uh, the accurately uh, determine the, the, the nature of the bond here. So uh, we solved high resolution structure and see what's gonna happen. And here, like we have GT mismatch and we used uh, aspartate, aspartate mutant. And um, there's a, uh, in this structure, Diamine is, diamine is flipped out and guanine is intrahelical. And there's arginine finger here. And uh, so in this structure, arginine finger moves from the uh, approach from minor group and uh, disrupt guanine diamine based pair. And diamine entered active site and guanine is engaged in hydrogen bond with arginine fingers. Now, in this structure, we found water molecule. So, Water molecules from here is nearby G1 prime of substrate diamine, also is proximal to catalytic carboxylate. So this structure suggests that this water molecule may be uh, activated by this catalytic carboxylate there and attack this, uh, this uh, the G1 prime position to cleave this carbon nitrogen bond of the substrate diamine. So based on this structure, we uh, propose the mechanism of glycosylase mechanism, mechanism of MD4. In our mechanism, uh, it involves the catalytic water molecule. Water molecule hydrogen bond with uh, O4 prime of substrate diamine and also backbone on uh, MI of, of the MD4. And this is activated by catalytic carboxylate and uh, attack this, uh, this G1 prime position to cleave this bond. And also the leading the, the, the substrate diamine is stabilized. The leading group ability of substrate diamine is increased by these multiple hydrogen bonds. Um, in addition to this structure, we solved wild type human MBD4 in complex with GT mismatch DNA because we use wild type and GT mismatch structure of DNA. It generated a, a basic pyrimidine site in situ. And here's catalytic carboxylate in arginine finger and guanine. Okay. So in this structure, we saw that this AP site uh, is uh, nearby catalytic carboxylate. And apparently there's no hydrogen, no covalent bond between a basic H1 prime and the carboxylate option because the distance was greater than three angstrom. Um, and also uh, this, the catalytic carboxylate is making hydrogen bond with uh, the abase site, site hydroxyl group. And the stereochemistry at this position was stereochemistry, meaning that this the water attack from the backside, backside of substrate diamond. And uh, what was intriguing was the observation of hydrogen bond network in MBD4 catalytic site. Look at this around the AP site. There are multiple hydrogen bond, multiple hydrogen bond around AP site. Is this, uh, is there some uh, biological relevant with this some random observation where uh, this multiple this hydrogen bond network has some function in, uh, in DNA glycosylase activity. Okay. So we wanted, we noticed that AP site is a highly genotoxic region. AP site exists in mixture of hemi asphalt and ring open aldehyde. Ring open aldehyde is susceptible to base mediated beta elimination that leads to strand break. And we got to, uh, remember that uh, DNA glycosylates, many DNA glycosylates contain aspartate uh, cat catalytic, res catalytic residue that can act as a base, which can. Uh, the, because uh, this aspartate residue is nearby the AP site, it can cleave, it can uh, deprotonate this to uh, generate strand break. So we think that this, uh, base, this hydrogen bond network uh, prevents 
that aspartate mediated cleavage of strains, the cleavage of a basic site. And uh, this hydrogen bond network was also observed in other DNA glycosylates, such as human neurotic DNA glycosylates. And in terms of multiple hydrogen bond, this inactivates, this inactive, neutralize this the carboxylate, the, the carboxylate, the, the residues, so neutralize, so that prevent the beta elimination. And so here's the, the uh, updated the mechanism. So we propose the uh, catalytic water uh, mechanism and also the uh, basic site prevention of uh, degradation, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, basic site protection mechanism uh, via hydrogen bond network. Uh, lastly, I'm going to talk about uh, arginine finger found, uh, commonly found in mismatch specific DNA glycosylates. Uh, during this talk, you heard about the arginine, 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 right? This arginine is commonly found in mismatch specific DNA glycosylates such as TDG and uh, MIG and MBD4. What's the role of this arginine finger? Of course, we know that arginine finger involves in phosphate pinching that stabilizes the flipped out thymine also uh, involves in G granine recognition. Is there any other role of the, for this arginine finger? Uh, because this granine recognition and phosphate pinching can be done by other amino acid residues such as uh, glutamine, leucine, tyrosine, aspartine observed in other like DNA glycosylates. Why do we need like arginine? Uh, why do the, 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 this specific DNA glycosylate use arginine finger in their like G, uh, GT processing of GT mismatches? That was our question. And uh, we did mutational study and uh, we did that uh, mutated arginine to uh, various uh, the amino acid. And uh, they, uh, only the lysine mutant showed activity. Other mutants such as phenylalanine, tyrosine, leucine, glutamate, did not show any activity, well as the, uh, the glutamine uh, mutant gives some, some, some activity. So what's going on? So what's going on? Why uh, this like the lysine mutant uh, shows the, the full activity, well as other mutant uh, did not? So to understand that, we solve the structure. Here's a lysine, uh, the finger structure here is lysine. And lysine shows the water-mediated uh, phosphate pinching to the uh, substrate diamond zone here. So we are, um, um, this structure give, shows the, uh, the role of the lysine finger, but it really does not give much insight into the role of arginine finger. Like, like it does not give new insight into the arginine, role of arginine finger. So we designed new, uh, um, new the, uh, the DNA, uh, so a leaked GT DNA. So in this NIC DNA, we have GT mismatch, but there's NIC, so we have bifurcan phosphate. So our hope was that this NIC DNA is not processed by MD4, but tightly binds MD4, thereby we can, uh, if we can solve the structure, maybe uh, the, that structure may give some insight into the role of arginine finger. And so we solve the structure here, and there's in this structure, uh, there's a nick here, and uh, substrate diamond is flipped out, and there's aspartate residue. The aspartate residue is inactivated by this hydrogen bond with phosphate. And now there's a, the, the light arginine for 68. Now in this structure, we don't see the phosphate pinching by arginine for 68. Instead, this guanidium moiety, guanidium moiety of arginine engage in hydrogen bonding interaction with O6 of guanine. So it is bifurcate hydrogen bond, as well as this additional bifurcate hydrogen bond forms four hydrogen bonds with guanine. So maybe um, uh, we, based on this like uh, multiple hydrogen bonds, we, uh, uh, speculate this the uh, this hydrogen bond this hydrogen bond formation may be important for catalytic activity and uh, this hydrogen bond can occur a uh, similar hydrogen bond network can occur with the, uh, the lysine residue but not with other uh, like tyrosine and leucine glutamate uh, residue so maybe uh, we uh, speculate that this arginine 
fingers may are uh, important for GT mismatch disruption and GT guanine recognition. And uh, our conclusion is that uh, MBD4 utilizes a catalytic water molecule in thymine excision. And also uh, we uh, show that uh, MBD4 may protect a, a basic pyrimidine site um, using the hydrogen bond network that neutralized uh, catalytic aspartate. And we also uh, uh, propose that arginine fingers of MBD4 may facilitate thymine-based flipping by stabilizing the orphan guanine. Um, I'm very grateful to my group members, uh, Lily Schmartz and Dr. Mike Zhang and Dr. Hala Audun Shibeta. And uh, I'm so thankful for the uh, generous funding and thank you for your attention. Uh, thank, thank you, uh, Sung Min. Uh, great talk.